And we begin tonight at 6 with an I-Team exclusive. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Kathy Vara, a mother sharing her story after her son was hit and killed by a city garbage truck. Doves were just released minutes ago at the grave of David Soto Terral. He was 35 years old when he was run over and killed exactly a year ago today by an L.A. City garbage truck. After that, David's mother filed a wrongful death claim and then a lawsuit against the city of L.A. and the driver alleging negligence. And now, a year later, his mother is speaking exclusively with the I-Team's Joel Grover. And what did she have to say, Joel? Well, she says the city of L.A. is stonewalling her withholding critical information for her while she is still grieving over the death of her son. It's a struggle every day. I, uh, I force myself to go on. Surrounded by friends and family, Sarah Terrell visits a memorial to her late son, David, in the Sherman Oaks Alley where he was run over and killed exactly a year ago by the driver of this L.A. trash truck. The pain is made even worse, she tells me, by still not knowing what really happened that day. I believe I'm entitled to know everything that happened on that day. I'm entitled to get answers. If for whatever reason, they're holding back. Terrell is talking about the city of L.A. Last March, she filed a wrongful death claim against the city, which it denied. She then filed a wrongful death lawsuit. On the chilly morning a year ago when David was run over, eyewitnesses told the I-Team he was sitting on the ground in the alley, kept warm by blankets, just before the city trash truck hit him. You could clearly see I it was a person. I clearly see that it's a person. A person struggling with addiction to painkillers from four serious skateboarding accidents, according to David's mother. She says this surveillance video of David just hours before the accident shows him coming down from a drug episode. And according to Terrell and her attorney, this video they obtained of the trash truck's cameras and provided to the I-Team shows the driver backed right over David. It left my son unrecognizable. I wasn't even able to bury him with an open casket. Terrell's lawyer says he's been trying to take a sworn deposition of the driver. But in this court document, the city attorney says the driver will not answer questions in deposition. There's an active criminal investigation. The LAPD, which originally investigated the accident and the driver, told the I-Team it does not have an ongoing investigation. We've been waiting months to try to get his deposition, to try to get answers about what happened that morning. Right now, uh, basically, the city is giving us nothing about what has happened that morning. Attorney Bob Brennan says so far, the city won't even give them training manuals and safety procedures for its trash truck drivers. Would you have hoped by now your case with the city of L.A. would have been resolved? Yes. If they are trying to wear me down, what's the purpose of that? For them to give us no information whatsoever is unreasonable. It's unreasonable for how the city is acting. It's unreasonable for any party in a litigation, especially one involving a wrongful death. Attorney Brennan and his client Sarah Terrell say they'll go to trial if that's what it takes to find out what really happened in this alley the morning of January 25th, 2023. I want to know it all. I believe that that's all part of for me to begin to somehow Heal? I don't know if that's even the right word. Now, the I-Team asked the city attorney's office to speak with us about this case. They declined to, saying they don't comment on pending litigation. We will continue to follow this case. All right, Joel, thank you for that.